Perhaps the most iconic hockey team to play at the old Palestra was the Marquette Iron Rangers. Only around for a decade or so, the Iron Rangers seem to have captured the fancy of the city like no other team. One of the team's stars in the 1960s was Jerry Sullivan. Jerry played college hockey at Michigan Tech and was living in Green Bay when he was recruited to play for the team by Ranger coach Oki Brum. Jerry's Iron Ranger teammates made up a veritable who's who of Marquette hockey legends. Ozzie O'Neill that played uh, on my right wing for the whole time I was here and, and really helped me. Ronnie Johnson, Michael Hillier, Dale Bierman, all of these are local guys. Uh, Pigeon Summers, Bucky O'Neill, Mike Greenleaf, they all are local guys that, you know, made up most of the team. And we filled in with guys like Barry Cook and Wayne McQuaig and Bill Oswald and Mike White, even Rick Comley one year played with us. Playing in the Palestra in arena with no heat left an impression on Jerry in several different ways. It was really cold in there. It's, it always seemed like it was colder inside than it was outside. And that made for good ice, good hard ice. It was very fast. Most of the guys could skate a little faster on palester ice than any other ice because it was so hard. The Rangers were a powerhouse in the United States Hockey League during Jerry's years with the team. And while they had a particularly fierce rivalry with the Green Bay Bobcats, Jerry says that Oki Brum would do his best to stoke the fire with every team they played. Before we would get there, there'd be a write-up in the paper that, you know, we're going to outplay them and outscore them, outfight them, and just uh, humiliate them. Oki was great for that. It was tough on us. Because we had to put up with a hostile audience uh, just about every every road game we played. They were yelling at us because Oki said that we were going to do so so many things. Jerry retired from the Rangers in the early 70s, becoming Marquette Senior High School's hockey coach and winning two state championships along the way. He says, though, that he still runs into people who remember him as one of the legendary players on what was one of Marquette's legendary hockey teams.